Michigan, 29, Michigan State, 7. Well, um, you you look at what happened. Both teams had a turnover, uh, but Michigan just annihilated this team, really. It had almost 200 more total yards, had 25 first downs to 11, had over one yard per play more, um, Yards per pass was Michigan State, but of course they had to pass because they they got down. The PPA per play, the success rate, the standard down success, pass down success, tackles for everything was in Michigan's favor in the spot. It was uh, it was a beating, to say the least. Uh, you look at the win expectancy, et cetera. Like obviously they were favored by twenty three, so of course. But you look at this and JJ McCarthy fifteen out of twenty five passing, he had one touchdown. Blake Corum ran the ball 33 times for 177 yards. He did say in his post-game press conference, uh, Blake Corum said, I thought Tuck was coming. Like, what happened? I heard all offseason Tuck was coming, and nothing happens. Uh, zone 6, Michigan issues in the red zone. Uh, when the run gets stuff, they can't get touchdowns. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. You look at the drive chart, it'll tell you. Um, field goal, touchdown, field goal, field goal, field goal, field goal, touchdown. I mean, it, <laughs> it was irritating. Um, but, yeah, because uh, Parker had... Michigan by 24, and yeah, the line was, I think, 22 and a half, so they went by 22, of course. Parker loses that bet. It sucks. That's why I hate betting these uh, these big spreads, but regardless, Michigan, obviously the better team. The, uh, the story coming out of this, really, the uh, fight between about a dozen Michigan State players and like one, maybe two Michigan players heading into the locker room, like in that tunnel, it, they are going to have to do something about these teams leaving the field and, and the way that they leave the field because it is a debacle every time out. Like, it's just awful. So, I, I don't know what they're going to do. Uh, the athletic director said that police are investigating what Harbaugh called an assault on two of his players. It did look pretty rough. It, it was it was not a good look for anybody. Um, I know Michigan was excited to get that win. They probably talked quite a bit. But, man... It's a double nil. I missed the fight. Uh, you can find You know what? I retweeted it. It's on my Twitter account, at GaryWCE. I don't know that I can play it on YouTube um, because it might get pulled, but regardless, go take a look at it. It's It looked pretty rough. Um, Michigan State, like, it, this is not a bad football team. They're just not, like, they're not a good football team. They're just kind of an eh football team. Uh, I just, you know... I don't know, double O'Neill. What about the Tennessee player that assaulted two fans? Uh, I'd say I don't know anything about that. Like this is this Michigan State, Michigan was a fight between players, and that's a that's a whole different deal. Um, and this this is weird. Like they're going to have to do something about this because this is too straight. Like I know James Franklin has got to be going. You know what? I was right. I told y'all that they need to fix this. It's a disaster. And Harbaugh, of course, just waved it off and like, well, if he had gone in and just not stopped. Um, yeah, Zone 6 said, do you mean the Bama player? Uh, nothing. Yeah, no, I'd, I'm not touching that one. Like, it, no, it's not a good look for Bama. It's not a good look for uh, Burton. Like, I don't know. I, I'm also old school and, like, it, you got to find a better way to get players off the field than to have them interacting with fans that are just rushing in at the last minute. I don't know what you can do. Uh, I'm not excusing his, uh, his behavior, Burton's behavior, but... At the same, I don't, I don't know what you do in that spot. Like, obviously, yeah, he he should probably be suspended, but I don't know. And so I'm, I'm staying out of it. Like, I, no real opinion, one way or the other. It's a bad look for everybody involved. It's just stupid. This situation, this has to do with how you get to the locker room and the fact that both teams have to go through the same tunnel. That's a disaster. Like, because you're going to have stuff like this happen, especially when there is such a heated rivalry, a heated matchup like this. You had the same thing happen with Penn State heading into the half. Like Now you got the same thing at the end of the Michigan-Michigan State game. You need to find a way to separate the players. Emotions are super high everywhere in this country right now, and of course they're going to be high with these teenagers and early 20s uh, football players coming off of a massive, massive game, right? Like It's just nuts. It's a bad situation overall. Yeah, double O'Neill. Yeah, it's a bad situation. Just uh, ridiculous. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. 
You can follow Gary on Twitter at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.